and Dimebricks just joined us. So welcome finally to the messed up Brickrod Live because Brickrod does not know how to stream videos apparently because it's been a while. But we are all here now. So you guys want to introduce yourselves to everybody because they know who I am and who he is. Mario, 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 Mario. Uh, let's start. Hi. Next one. Next one. Go. Stop. Yeah. Go ahead, Golden. Golden Bricks here. Nice to see you guys. Nice to see you, buddy. All right. Who's next? Go done. Oh, sorry. Good morning, everybody. Don Bricks here. Um, I'm so stoked to be here. So excited to see everybody again. Um, it's going to be a lot of fun. You know, really happy to be here. Thank you for having me. We are happy to have you here. Oh, sweet. Uh, hey, I'm Swoboda411, and you all caught me with my pants down without my sig fig. So I found him. <laughs> I know Golden was the only one of us that did it official. Yeah, I found him in my D pipe. But, uh, here we go. That's yes. who you know him on Instagram and social media with. Yes, absolutely. And uh, I did just shave my beard today, so you see there's a little bit of an incongruity with the... Uh, I just realized that my camera was facing the wrong way, so it's probably blurry that whole time, you guys. It was a little... <laughs> Better now. It was trying to look through some plastic. I, I've got it sitting up in my Lego container right now, like sitting sideways. Oh, there it goes. It was, camera, it was like inside the drawer. I had the phone flipped the wrong way. Huh. A little bit of Lego POV action going on there for a second. Yeah, basically, basically, yeah. <laughs> how's it going, guys? How's, how's how are things? Going good. I haven't been able to do a whole lot of building lately because I've been dealing with some back issues. The oh, sitting no. down for long periods of time really sucks, but and I, I've got a lot of uh, becoming plans for the city and whatnot. So, you know, well, at least some work's getting done. Yeah. Sorry. I know I've been a little bit of uh, missing in action on the Instagram for the last uh, month or two. Work has been kind of nuts, and I just haven't had a lot of time to build and. I'm not a big fan of reposting stuff, content that I've already posted just for the heck of it. So I haven't had right. to, to share, So, but I'm trying to get back into it. And I think tonight is going to be a fun time to... Uh, it is. You did good last time we put you on the spot and said, hey, build now. Let's see what you got. <laughs> Where's the uh, rocket rocket car? All right. Actually, if y'all excuse me for like 10 seconds, I got to go to the living room. I'll show you the fruits of the last build yes yes so give me a second Check that, take it away that, that would be good that would be good to show what you did because yeah. mine is in a box and about five different pieces from our last move and today i have and he's just going to show us his random figs so life <laughs> <of kids. laughs> you know i always wanted to get those minecraft sets because i'm a huge fan of minecraft obviously Look at that. He's like, oh. but, uh, Creeper on yeah, but I, uh, I just can't bring myself to like buy those sets because majority of it is just it's just block. You know, the figs are really what I want the most, but I just can't bring myself to buy the set. You know, because I'm a, I'm a part buyer, not so much as a set buyer. So oh, they're they're so expensive. I cry every time. He's like, I want another one, Daddy. I'm like, no, don't you want to? I can want four dollars just for some blocks, man. Let's just go into the personal stash we have and just make this set our own, you know? Pretty much. <laughs> Not that hard. Well, we were... Uh, I don't know. Oh. I, I like Minecraft, but I felt it was... Uh, it's it's insanely overpriced. It, I don't know. I thought they could have done something different that would have been more than just a bunch of block Lego. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, that Lego's just blocks anyyway. You know, what could they do? <laughs> yeah. Well, he I had a toy store for one of their figs for a Minecraft set was $14. And then I didn't realize it for his birthday, he ended up buying that set. So it's like, so now you have two of these. Well played. <laughs> well played. Yeah. He's like, well, this one's a pirate because I lost a leg. I'm like, it was $14, though. So. <laughs> $14? Yeah. 
Yeah. It's like, but he's a pirate now. I'm like, not the same. I almost did get the uh, minifigure pack, though. They had the, uh, those the are Minecraft cool. minifigure pack. Those were pretty cool. I ain't going to lie. But um, they, they didn't have Steve. They had, like, uh, I can't remember what it was. I think it was, like, user skins or something. That was yeah. the figures. I mean, I wanted Steve for nostalgia pack. I mean, I've got a little keychain Steve dangling from the rear bumper, the tow hitch of my car. You know, <laughs> so, <laughs> you know, I, I felt like having the minifigure up, like, on the dashboard would have been fun, too. But not yet, not yet. I'm still waiting on Lego to add it to their uh, the build of figures because you know you know that's got to happen eventually where they put the Minecraft eventually stuff. They'll in run it. out of parts or they'll have enough parts. Right. Eventually they're gonna discontinue or uh, I, I've come to realize that the the, the the containers and stuff at Lego stores for the the build of figures those are all old set figures and majority of them are polybag figures. They. So, they uh, they have containers of just accessories there. If you ask them to bring it out of the back, man, I spent about an hour there looking through accessories. I found stuff that I've never seen inside the uh, the, the actual thing itself, like uh, a Chihuahua minifigure, a uh, minifig dog. I picked that up, and uh, I haven't seen that in that thing. I believe that was from a friend's set. So, you know, huh. they do all kinds of stuff that... And there, I guess Lego. You know how they get their sets back sometimes from stores that haven't been sold. Yeah, well, they take all the parts out of there and they and they reuse them or they um, they set them all off in bulk. You know, I mean that's brilliant inventory management. Like yeah, fantastic. yeah, basically. Yeah. They're like, oh look, we got you know two thousand friends sets that didn't sell, and we got a new wave coming out. We got to clear the shelves, so they send them all back to Lego, and then uh, you know they empty all them out. Use them all up still, so that's good. Yeah. So Jack, you've been stuck working. Yeah. And you've had back issues. What about you, Golden? What have you been up to lately? Not much. Just working a lot. Yeah. Um, haven't had too much time to build. And when I do, I build with the kids. Un on film sets. <laughs> 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 yep, but um did get time to build something for this challenge. Awesome. Yeah, we're going to get to that in just a second here. I'm excited about that. I got you on you know, a, uh, this one because we've, uh, it took a lot uh, of time. We've already been talking about it and whatnot, but I don't know if you remember the, uh, what is it called, the big RV camper that I made? Well, yeah. it, uh, it, it has no, it no longer has a truck for it to tow it around, so that needs to get built for the top. It'll be <laughs> it's all right. It's a trailer. Okay. All right, Eddie, you need to stop. We see you. We appreciate it. Back to the, uh, the big announce, I just figured I ran out and grab it. And last time, our yeah. team was yeah. big chips. I was on, on, on a hangout. And uh, I'm, I'm not really a spaceship guy, but I managed to, on the stream, create Space Truck. Space Truck yeah, is, thing is awesome. It's still amazing. Here, yeah. which is pretty. Pretty excellent, and I'm pleased to say that I've only cannibalized a few parts from it. You see, we got like the the white tail lights back yonder now because yeah. you, you don't see it, so it doesn't matter. It's okay. Yeah, but it's largely intact, and th this is a space truck. Ooh. Anyway, <laughs> so moving on. Uh, are are we ready? Are we going to talk about it? Are you talking about it? Are we just going to keep uh, not talking about it? Let, let's talk about it. All right. So All right. this is something that this is my fault why the competitions let me just throw that out there is not your the judge's fault whatsoever it is my fault because i decided to move again and started another job and life happens because this is all of our hobby and as everybody that's tuning in hopefully is seeing which who knows if anybody can actually see this um we got a few people watching you got brick man Seven two seven three, Jacob Moon's box, Logan guy, Benny's garage, low life brick builder. Sorry to interrupt you. No, 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 you're not interrupting at all. That's this is why I need. This is why I have you guys to help me with this stuff because sometimes it just gets away from me. But so no, you do not have to apologize, sir, at all. So hi to everybody in the chat. 
and I think Brickman77, it is his birthday today, so happy birthday to you. I hope you're happy enjoying birthday. Happy, 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 happy birthday. Hope you're enjoying this, uh, happy bit birthday. Of a I guess we're doing this in honor of Big B to turn into a bit of a train wreck, but that's okay because we will get it back on the rails here in just a minute. But this build competition we are doing for this month was actually supposed to start in May, I think, when we were supposed to do it. And I told, the, I told, all, told everybody, hey, get your stuff ready. Oh, but we have to postpone it because I'm oh, okay. packing my house up to move across town. So, uh, oh, and I'm starting another job. So we got to move it back another month. So this is something that's been in the works for a while. And I hope you guys are excited as I am about it. Okay. No, no. <laughs> we are doing... Campers, because yeah. it's summertime and the end of summer. Look, he's excited. <laughs> so, <laughs> he's more excited than I am. He's <laughs> on. It's worth having him on just for that moment right there. <coughs> so um, some of us have got some stuff built. Um, I'll let you guys go ahead and go. And if you guys are ready to show yours, whoever wants, if I can go first or you guys want to go first, however you want to do it. Yeah, well, I'm ready. I can start because I kind of cheated a little bit so far. I, I actually technically haven't built anything for this uh, particular competition, but uh, I was wandering around my house earlier today, and there are various. Uh, I'm gonna go with MOCs because that's that's just that's the way you say it. It's just you can't you can't go back. <laughs> uh, you gotta double down. You can't back off. No. Various stashed in various shelves in various rooms, and uh, I was in the band room, and I looked over, and I was like, "Oh crap! I did actually build something months ago." So I took it. Uh, if you guys remember the the van, the the blue van set with like the tow trailer. Uh, this that one. Came out, like, in, yeah, that yonder it came out. What was that? Like twenty sixteen? Yeah, I bought like ten of them. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. <laughs> I had used that set as inspiration and three or four of those sets uh, to create a uh, Astro van that is, I feel like, a more reasonable three seat representation of the Astro van there. I love that. And I like that. Tow trailer got two axles, looks nice. around, and the nice part is that it opens like this. To reveal the full interior, including tiled floor, nice. with a uh, coffee maker and a hot dog. Because you know, if you're getting out of bed in the morning, you need some coffee. Probably want a hot dog too. You gotta have. No, I just like to. Uh, I like to yeah. point out, Legos have horrible diets, man. Hot dogs yeah. and coffee. That's all over you. Oh, exactly. So, um. My plan tonight was to, and still is, to build on the stream, and I can let you guys show what you've built before I kind of unveil my, uh, I have some rough plans and a couple of donor vehicles that I think I can make something, but as far as being responsible and having a thing for the judges to demonstrate, <laughs> I am <laughs> the camper van. Camper Anyway, who's next? Uh, golden, because right. yours is amazing. Nah. You're on the big screen, so all eyes on you, buddy. I started with this, so it's not a full mock, but I don't know if you guys have this. It's a pretty huge set, and I wanted to turn it and just I wanted to tow it with this. Oh no! That truck. Yeah, my cab over. That's fantastic. This years ago that cab over is what started me to build a wide vehicle oh yeah that that thing is amazing that's one of my favorite builds of yours. No, i turned it in i turned this camper into a fifth wheel oh my gosh that is Damn. huge like this yeah. set is humongous it's eight wide so it works pretty good i put smaller wheels on it um and oh, man, for everything in the back. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Got a face. Nice thing about the set is it has a full, full interior. Most of it's from this set. I just had to add 
this portion up here. Oh, that's pretty cool. Added two beds for the kids. Oh, yeah. And I also uh, I tried to mainly use just the parts that came with the set. Um, so I ended up putting those goofy windshields up here. Oh, so when you're sleeping, you can look out at the sky. I like neat. that. That's pretty cool. But that's what I got. That is awesome. Oh, yeah. Of course, there's always hair. Yeah, there is. With kids and animals, it's, <laughs> it's always there. All right. Meow, 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 meow. Got the kids in my yeah, all right, yeah. Don. Do you have yours available to show us your trailer? Yeah, I have it. Um, it's uh technically not completed because, like I said, I no longer have a truck to pull it. Um, so I got to build that, but that was mainly because I wasn't even sold on the original truck. I had a um, a lowered, extended out like 18 wheeler, you know, with the uh, yeah. six wheels and whatnot. Here we go. And, uh, it it looked good and all I liked it, but like it's not exactly what I wanted, and it it, it didn't sit well with this thing. However, here is let me get in the camera. Oh, nice, awesome. There is my camper van. Like my buildings, I always have them opened up at the top so I can access them easily. Oh. Also, as well as has it have a uh, let me see, get the light there. Come on. always have a panel in order like a root panel in order to just slap it on there whenever i'm not trying to take pictures but i always leave the top open up in order to access stuff lighting for photos and things of that nature every building is on on my table the, the roof is completely open and i just drop my lamp up from the top so i can take my photos down below because nice. i don't have my whole city lit up with like my bricks so you know what i'm saying i need the i need the accessibility oh I this thing however it has ability to open up in the back as well as comfortably hold this hot rod that's fantastic that now, is wide, is that a, just a regular six wide or is that an eight wide no that's a six wide this right it's actually four wide technically it's four wide with the extension of the doors on the outside i get uh, it my hot rod so the tire smaller technically yeah the tires it's pretty big however it fits perfectly in there Oh. That's fantastic. That is fantastic. <laughs> that is oh, man. Well done. That's so good. Can you you oh, and yeah. uh, my bill with that? Just just so you get on the up turn it around here. You guys can see how. I don't know if you can see in there. Yeah, but I've got the uh, poster from the the Volkswagen bus van. Oh wow. As well as I have a little sink and some cabinetry and the microwave going on up in there. It's awesome. That is amazing. Up here would be the cab stuff. Nothing, no beds or anything got uh, put into it. Like I said, it's kind of incomplete. However, uh, the majority is there. So that is amazing. Dropping the monitor here. My back door always falls off. <laughs> yeah. There we go. All right, I guess that leaves. Are you good? Or, yeah, I guess that leaves mine then. Uh, yes, yeah. No. All right, he's gonna say good night real quick. Say good night, everybody. Good night, everybody. Good night. You know. Good night, buddy. <laughs> nice see you. Yeah, good morning, Dad. Right, love you. Bye. All right. Now I know I'm. Take my cup. Yeah, take your cup. <gasps> Now, I know I'm completely behind with this build on what I used because I posted all the pictures, what the mock, and the order I did. And this is, I have to admit, this is my first time building with Speed Champion Fenders outside of the Camaro sets I had. I didn't understand them. You guys build with them. I'm like, I don't understand how they do that. It's so complicated. And now I feel like a complete idiot for saying that because I don't know why I didn't do this sooner. Because this is, I started out with the new fifth wheel camper and I decided to make Chet Knievel a hauler with the, uh, awesome. uh, I guess it's a cool. big screen here. There we go. With the uh, different panels that open up on the side. And 
I basically stretched it and took all the grays and white and blues out of it and just made it red and white. Right. And I still made it. I had to add this little piece here because the side panel would not open because of how long it is now. Uh, Hold it up a little more, buddy. Oh, fantastic. That's great. Yeah. It's got the Octan couch in there, hardwood oh, floors, awesome. little That's cool. <laughs> And the couch comes out, so if he's camping and wants to hang out outside, I'm probably going to break this because it's live, but I didn't. It's got this little couch here, simple little build that goes right in there, nice and easy. If I can click it back in there, maybe. There it goes. And then the back just kind of drops there, and Chet's little Vespa does fit right in there. That's then, really cool, man. Of course. Whoops. I love Lego and live streaming. It's so much fun. <laughs> right. <laughs> but I just kept the bed the the same. Kept the bed the same. But the main thing I built that I have been working on this week is you need something to pull it with. And because I thought I'd have some fun, I built that. And that's sort of the wow. challenge game with the fenders is building something completely new and different. And after yeah, I built that is awesome. I basically built a tow truck. <laughs> <laughs> so I looked at the lines afterwards, I'm like, it's a tow truck. But I'm okay with that. Yeah, that's what originally was carrying my camper van was my tow body flatbed. However, I yeah. didn't feel like it looked appropriate. Then I turned it into a truck. Are so those... I didn't like the way it was sitting. So that's when I built the new truck. Are those the brand new Speed Champion fenders, like the the lower profiled ones? Yes. Yeah. Yes, they are. Oh, that's fantastic! I found a place, a Bricklink store that has seven of them, and I got all. I got six of them. That's so, fantastic. Nice. Mm -hmm. I hate how they're in the Ferrari set. That's like a hundred bucks. Yeah, and I'm like, I, I've got three kids, and I can't justify a hundred dollar Ferrari yeah. set. So yeah. part out. Mm -hmm. uh, that's wife, why I don't have the red ones yet. Yeah. The only ones of the new style I have is the white. That was the uh. The Porsche um, track car set, whatever it was. I don't know. Yeah, that race car. Yeah. That's and what this is built out of right here. And I love that. Yeah, that thing's awesome. You guys probably haven't seen the bottom of it, but it's oh, wow. detailed on the bottom. But you see, the thing is, uh, I've got these wheels tucked into those fenders like you do. You yeah. don't have yours sitting one level higher than mine, probably yeah. because you realize that they barely just they don't roll. No, but if you set it down, it's just enough camber where like the tread niches inside of it. However, yeah. I don't. I'm not pushing it around my city, you know, so it's just there for display. So that's okay. But yeah, I get yeah. why you did a little higher with yours. Yeah, with everything I build, with my I keep my kids in mind. I'm like, okay, can they play with this? And will they get frustrated? Yeah. yeah. If they get frustrated, they will throw it, especially my dog. <laughs> <laughs> my youngest is like, hey, yeah. funny thing is, she got angry kitty out of the mini figure poly bags. And I'm like, that fits you so well because when you flip out, you get angry. But <laughs> play the camper and not break yep. it. I was happy. Speaking of which, do you like the new uh, mini pigs, the uh, Hello Kitty mini pig bags? I do. My everybody got one but me because I wanted the new briefcase for Harry Potter, so I went with that. Oh, that's exactly the one I want. Man, I want so many of the new Harry Potter ones. There's been it's been a while since I've like got excited about poly bags. But yeah. man, these are just filled with perfect mini fig torsos that are really they're all gender neutral and um none of them like have like flesh tone exposed on the neck. Yeah, Which, the, that's you what know, I, you have. You can want like a yellow fig. It, it's a little difficult. So I'm really excited about the new Harry Potter fig. It's suit for anything. It's, yeah, exactly. Exactly. It, Just swap it, out the hands and, head yeah. and you're good. And here, I'll throw myself on the big screen so you guys can see this. This new briefcase is incredible. Like it's got printing there. Oh, man. Go up a little bit. Oop, there we go. And. It can fit two cookies in there. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> the only thing that stinks is seeing cookies. Holy crap! The only thing that stinks about these are, unlike the original briefcases, 
they cannot hold them at their side because too long too long oh it's too tall i'll get it yeah but it's one of those things okay i'll make it look like he's running somewhere and throwing it at somebody i'm okay with that because until they put into it it's pretty awesome i like how you can put the uh, torso of the pig inside it making it look like it's coming out of it like in the movie yeah i saw a couple people do that i like that all right let's talk about the competition real quick here show everyone what we built so it is we're going to use brg caravan so that way our european friends know what we're doing be what i, I want to keep them in mind because we do have a lot of yeah, yeah. overseas that do this and they're like why can't you americans make it make sense to us so thinking about you guys <laughs> Going to be caravans because this time we're doing pool behind trailers. And my dog is doing something weird in the kitchen, which is always awesome. Um, so pull anything, any fifth wheel or regular camper or stretch camper. So nice. I came prepared tonight with different examples. So yeah. Yeah, you got a fleet going on there, man. I, I do. I said this this set was my crack. It was twelve bucks on Amazon, and I just kept buying it. I mean, that caravan set that was like the third set I've bought when I restarted this whole Lego thing like two years ago. I lost track. Great right set. I, I got. I got. I got. I got yeah. the thing. Are we limiting it to just? Pull behinds because that kind of derails my like. Um, I think we. My well. Okay, go ahead. Let me let me just let me just throw it in there. Okay. So my plan had to been. This is what I was going to talk about earlier. To take this donor, this donor lowrider guy, and build a flatbed mounted, uh, mm. camper on the back of it. So I no trailer, either way. flatbed, flop down, still a two-parter, right? Still got your truck, still got your camper, hmm. but it's not on an axle. So are we limiting this to axle-only campers, or hmm. can not or can we oh, – because no RVs. We're not doing RVs. So we're not doing RVs. But I want to make that clear. RV will be a separate challenge down the road. But I feel that maybe the two-part – pickup truck with the camper van on top of it you know thinking like wolverine yeah uh, yeah, yeah. Now, now you're pulling at me dang it i i will allow ones that can as long as it can be removed it cannot yeah, be, gotta be like mounted on like just a couple of studs that you can pull it off in one piece it's not built into it right yeah. but like a you know bed mounted are we gonna i mean i'm if it's not allowed, it's not allowed. I'm just I, I I posit that this opens up a new and interesting angle to the potential bills. Mm. I like to iterate on that thing right there. I personally think that that is exactly the same category as you would be as like a towback because if you recall, those kinds are normally up on four jacks and you just reverse the truck bed uh, underneath it, lower it down, throw the bolts in, and you drive away. Just, just kind of like you would if you're backing up, hooking up a trailer. It's real simple on the go type. So if you're gonna build that, build the the legs, the jack legs on it, uh, some some way, you know. But in my because straight up, I was that was my first plan was to build something like that. I'm not gonna lie, I was gonna take a lowered ass C10 truck, I am drop it, a little camper on it, you know. Judges, if you guys want to see what people can do, I say we'll go for it. So I personally do. Um, during my eight wide challenge, I had somebody build one of those, and straight up, he almost won. It was really, I think it was Fast Eddie, was the Instagram who uh, built that. Yeah, New Zealand or Australia, he's a very, very talented builder. Oh, that's a cool guy. Yeah, I so, think it was him. I'm not sure, and I and I think if it wasn't him, he built something else in my comp. So. All right, <laughs> I can't remember. So if we're gonna use BRG Caravan. It has to either be tow behind or sit in the bed with removable and have jack stands. Four separate posts that you can actually remove it just like you would a normal drop-in camper. Does anyone even know the name of that? Like, what is the actual name of those? 
caravan? Google. Ha- well, I can look it up. All right. Google foo. Let's do it. Use the Google. Use the Google. <laughs> Shameless plug <laughs> for the Apple. <laughs> Uh, okay, so truck bed campers, they they call them eagle. They, they have pickup truck campers, truck bed campers, pip, picking the perfect from truck camper magazine. I think it's truck camper is the what we're gonna do. Yeah, yeah, truck truck camper magazine. Go anywhere, camp anywhere, tow anything so apparently the value of this is that you can have a utility oh this is interesting if you've got a truck bed camper you got to have a utility trailer with some like four by four i like it so it has to you still have to have some sort of trailer axles included yep. on all builds yes okay so you have to have so, okay so we're really people are in the chat are probably like wow they're making this complicated or making it more open and more fun for everybody yeah mm-hmm. or maybe if you don't include the trailer don't have like the judges want the trailer with the the cool off road vehicle for like optimal. Yeah, if you're if you're gonna put the truck in the camper in the bed, then you've got to have something cool to pull with it. You got to have a reason. You got to have like a dune buggy or a dragster, something epic to pull behind. Yeah, cool, something. Yeah, or oh, dragster. Oh, are we talking about like you can just go full like race week two behind with like, like something a like you're going out to the salt flax at Bonneville to go set a land speed record. Like this right here. Exactly. That's exactly what I built this for. It's a salt flat basically trailer or you know, just, just for the dirt track or whatever, you know what I'm saying? All right. Jacob Moon's asking how we're going to judge this. See, this is the fun part. And this is this is what takes the longest about these competitions for all of us. I come up with the nugget of an idea. We discuss it. If you guys would all see the, if they could see our message here, they'd be like, you guys are insane. The random stuff we throw at each other, but it's, it's what, it's what we love about this hobby. We have, we found a group of friends. Very active daily chat room. In it the- is. And I'm, I blow up everybody's phones. You can tell when I'm not working. Cause I yeah. really tell when I'm not working. Look what I found on the internet today. We should try to build these. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 Like, we, already, we already did it like a year ago. Oh, sorry. <laughs> or Golden's like, oh, I have that. I just didn't post it yet. So, so how are we gonna judge it? I think that it's for me because all of the judges. This is the beautiful part about. I feel like this group too. We've never defined no the judging like criteria. Ever. And we've we've also never rejected a build because it wasn't quite exactly what we considered for the for for the original intent of the contest. So mostly just based for me on impact and like if I giggle like a schoolgirl, like when I see the post, then like you're probably gonna get like that's probably gonna be where I'm aiming for, you know. I mean like it doesn't even for me. It doesn't have to be detailed. It doesn't even have to be mini fig scale necessarily. Although I like a six wide as a general. That's my build. I know Dime does eight. You know, for the most part, um, it's mostly a giggle factor for me. Honestly. So, Jack, so when you go for Sloboda, guys, and this is the crazy thing about these competitions. When I did this by myself, I was picking top ten. Then I'm like, let's have judges pick the top ten, and I don't have to deal with it. This. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I wanted to introduce everybody to you guys because that didn't know you because you guys are such talented builders that I respect and look up to. And like I said, if you guys could see our thing, how much I ask these guys for advice, I'm like, should I change this? I, I drive them nuts. I know I do. But we're friends because we can bounce ideas off each other. So if you're looking. Yeah, that's all, I love that about the legal community, man. Sharing ideas. You know, that's absolutely it's what this whole thing is one correlation about. I mean, ever since I started it, I swear I've learned about a billion times more techniques than I ever could have thought I learned. And every day I learn something new, whether it be from people messaging me something or me seeing a new building technique on on the gram feed and or, or just straight up like you guys yeah. asking me for advice. Another all new. about sharing and learning. Love it. Yeah. I love it. 
So what, what, what are the things that you look for when you're getting your top two people done? Because we, for Jet, for Sobota, we know the top two is going to be the giggle factor and the what the, how did they build that? So what about you? What are you looking for? Because said so you guys get to pick the top ten at the end of this competition. You get to pick the top ten. So what are you looking for for your two people that you want to throw in the top ten? Well, basically the same thing I always look for and that always catches my eye and. You know, I don't follow everything and I don't like everything only because, like, uh, I don't know. I, I want my opinion to matter, I guess, if you will. You know, so, like, what I look for is realism, uh, clean builds. Like, you know, uh, some people, they take the time to straighten out their one-by-one um, bricks and, and uh, plates and stuff like that. And they take the time to get everything perfectly cinched and clean. That's one thing that I look for most, you know, in uh, like Lego Insomnia. He's a close friend and good, amazing builder. He builds like seven wide, six wide, and sometimes eight wide. It, his, his building technique is so perfectly clean that like I, I honestly envy him. And when it comes to the comp, that's what I'm going to be looking for is it, it's just clean lines, clean techniques, and stepping out of the box mostly because you know, a lot of people, they tend to go normal. And, yeah, realism is fine and all, but don't be so realistic because that's boring sometimes. Like my city, for instance, I try to be as realistic as possible, but it's more or less a utopia if everything wrong in the world didn't exist and everything right did, you know? You know, no, no issues, no no, no, no crime and fama, just, just being the, the, the perfect moment, if you will, you know? So don't limit yourself. And, uh, you know, just try to be as clean as you can, you know, just make it like, you know, make it like you want to win it. You know what I'm saying? That's yeah. It. Sorry. Dog's in my lap wanting to cuddle. He's way too big to cuddle. All so right. Marley's been jumping up on me right now. <laughs> yeah. He's like, hey, I'm back. Sorry about that, guys. Oh, no, you're good. All right, Golden, you're on the big stream. What what are you looking for? I like something that's different, you know. I was if it's different and it pops out, that's really what'll catch my attention. I also look for details. Like I'm always about adding small details to things. Um, just for example, simple bike rack maybe, or um, like on a camper, maybe you'll do your water and sewer connections, little oh. things like that. They always that's what always catches me. Um, yeah, it's, yeah, it's how I build. I like adding, you know, just the little, the little things. Um, I love looking at your builds because every time I look at them, I see something different. I'm like, how did he put that? Dude? Wait, that actually works. <laughs> like some of your builds with the steering actually works. I'm like, I would have never thought of that, but Golden found a way to it. Yeah, that that one right there. Yeah. I'm turning the yeah. steering wheel. Yeah. Wheels move. The lowering <laughs> system. Stuff like that, that one uh, one thing that you did, man, that was just, that was perfect. I love that thing. That was so cool. Thanks, man. Yeah, I still want to. I still plan on somehow <laughs> re-engineering that. <laughs> I have no idea how I'm gonna go about it. <laughs> but just the fact that you could roll that thing up, twist it, and it just sit. Oh, that was so perfect. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, man. All right, and Fitz, we Fitz guys want to. He tried to get in the chat, but because something on my end, I'm pretty sure because technology me just aren't getting along right now. Um, he said he's looking for the wow factor with detail colors, make it match. If yeah. you guys do not follow Fitz or any of these judges, you need to be following them because they will give you ideas. I said, I would have never tried Speed Champions if not for these gentlemen you see on the screen here that use the Speed Champions fenders all the time. And I said, I even told my wife, like, why haven't I been buying these? Because the other fenders always frustrated me because you couldn't get clean lines and there's always gaps. And now I'm like, oh, that's why they use those. There's no more yeah. gaps. Yep. Yeah, that's the biggest problem with me, man, is those damn gaps on the fenders. You know, I want. And that's Leo Insomnia. He does that perfectly. You see, you can do that, right? You can make it clean if you use the uh, upright slanted yeah. brick uh, right behind the fender, which 
as you can see, I did use those fenders for this guy. However, um, I, I didn't want to. You know, I really didn't want to. So I, it really made me do stuff in order to do that. What I did was I kept that white trim going from the fenders all the way down below. And uh, yeah, that's the I only can... way I can end up doing those fenders is by doing that. Yeah. Yeah, see that cap? Oh, that, that's why mine are just one separate. So in order to have the stuff in, built in between, but that gap, stuff like that bugs me. <laughs> it's my OCD. I just gotta let it I go. I will not even build something. Like I'll completely change my build up if it's got gap situation going on. <laughs> yep. Yeah, it's like this camper I built has gaps. Yep. And like I, I don't like yeah. it. Yeah, that's why I want the uh the separate in between there in order to have that. That's another thing. I always I'm a firm believer of compromising your original design in order for to make it clean. And uh as long as, as well as compromising realism in order to make it clean. So that's 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 me. I just like to have all of my like stuff roll. That's basically my only real that's the only goal, make sure it rolls. Yeah, I mean that's just unless it's not supposed to roll, right? Like in, unless it's like some derelict or something like that. But you know they got to be kind of playable, like not not quite fall off the 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 desk intact level. Yeah, but some reasonable playability built into it. Like I, I'm not as much of a fan of like the uh, like. Somewhat rickety, like oh, we breathe on it wrong. Like like the the like the UCSB wing. You look at that thing weird, and it just explodes in. I, thousands. Uh, I do have one question for Saloda. Did you ever pick up the snow speeder or just? Oh, I'm still right over there on the ground. It's, <laughs> it's <laughs> in pieces all over the ground where it fell. The poster fell down, knocked it off. Thirty minutes after I completed the model, and. Yeah, I mean, like, look, what are you gonna do here? What are you, what are you gonna do here? You gonna put this back? To, you gonna put this back together? <laughs> uh, pieces of it? <laughs> no, no, like, <laughs> no, look, 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 look. I don't, I don't, look, look, I have no idea what, what, what are these? What are these things? About? How do these, how do these fit? <laughs> <laughs> okay, I have no idea. So, yeah, I haven't had the, the strength of heart for that. Was a Christmas gift from my parents. What, ten month, nine months ago, eight months ago, that I completed in early January. Had to complete for thirty minutes. Was cooking dinner. Heard yeah. didn't have the strength to go back. Finish my dinner and then felt like. Went back like an hour later, and it was just destroyed and still on the ground. Look, I have that Millennium Falcon that I've had in bins for two years. I think I've had it, and I'm like, I don't have the time to go through and categorize everything and see what parts I have to order. Because ever had it, a dog got a hold of something, yeah. and they're just they're just trashed. <laughs> Millennium Falcon and this is that I daily, I have to walk by this on a daily basis and I feel shame every time. At least your Millennium Falcon is like packed away in a drawer where you only, you can like go and look at it. It's a whole three drawer thing so every time I walk in my laundry room and it stares me it's like, are you going to build me? No. Yes. <laughs> all right, not today. But, well, then I, I'm tempted to steal parts from you because I need it because it's all gray. The good news is I have, I'm hatching a potential solution for this problem. Um, so they're at my work, which we'll just not work talk about the fruit company that I work with. Yeah, fruit company. Uh, but uh, there has been this trend of people bringing in giant Lego sets in pieces and just like putting them on like the tables in the middle of like in the hallways and stuff with the instructions, and people will wander by and have a sticky note. And be and put the sticky note on the instructions where they've like added some few, and this is where they've left off. So I'm hatching this plan. I have to deconstruct the whole damn thing first, right? Which is going to be the saddest part. 
calling you out for it still laying on the floor too. He's like, wow, that has been lying on the floor for a while. Yeah. Um, but I'm going to, I'm going to pick it up, deconstruct it, inventory it, make sure I have all the parts. And then I'm going to put it in the bags and dump it on the table at work with the instructions. I think you should. And source out oh, cool. the building of it. And then we can leave like, because somebody brought the Bugatti in like Ooh. just brand new Bugatti. Like I have no idea who this per Well, I know who it belongs to now. Right. But like all of a sudden one day there was just a Bugatti in pieces with the instructions and a sticky that said, leave this where you left off. And in three days it was built. Wow. And it was really cool. Was really cool. So this is my plan. Just look, yeah, I don't work there because I would have just sat down and built the whole thing. <laughs> I, I, oh, I was supposed to do work. Oh. <laughs> Wait. The, part, the, the, the only thing that I would not be okay with is the application of the decals. Uh, but luckily, I've already, <laughs> You've already uh, done it. Yeah, 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 yeah. So we're fine. Yeah. Uh, but I think that's going to be the plan. I think, that's, I think it's reasonable and I really want to get the sh rid of the shame. And the thing is, I already have the. Uh, Don't drop that on your way. <laughs> no, this one's really good. But the Y Wing, if you guys are looking into potentially a UCS Star Wars like set to build, the, the new Y Wing, fantastic. It's super sturdy, it's incredibly detailed. Like, look at the. Uh, the detailing on the top of the body and the bomb bay going back forward to the uh you're golden sick of the same thing i am i just that terrifies me with my children i can just picture my youngest daughter running up and down the hallway with the... <laughs> it crashed no. oh yeah no absolutely this is I mean, there is no no play playability yeah like playability factor zero uh, the build is fantastic and it looks really sweet, but yeah, no. You want to be really careful. But the B wing right here, yeah, you look at it weird. It's gonna fucking explode everywhere, so we don't want to go talk about that. The only uh, USC set that I want is the um, the Slave One. I had the uh, Slave One. Um, I don't know. Obviously, don't know the part, the, the set number off the top of my head. But if you guys recall, when they remade the Slave One. Um, the first time, not the second time, like where the one that was before that, you know, this one was released, but the one that was like, say, I want to say back in 2010 or somewhere around in there. Um, it uh, it was quite impressive. It had to be one of my favorite Star Wars sets I've ever owned of all time. But that new one, the, the Ultimate Collector series, and that thing is just, is I just that can't stop staring at it every time I see it, you know, like images come across on Instagram. I'm just stuck to the screen. Slave One is hands down my favorite ship of all Star Wars time. He's about to pull it. thing is so freaking huge, man. Oh, so man. The part about this set is check out the fins. They're like gravity weighted. Yeah. Yeah. That's so cool. Yeah. It's a little bit, it's a cool build. It's a little bit terrifying. Uh, to hold here. The cool part is that the cockpit also will rotate forward and backward. Yeah. Like that. Yeah, I've seen about building videos on this song, man. I love it. But yeah, it's super, so cool. super fun. And the coolest part is the re like the back of it of the ship is just nailed, right? Like so they really went all the way with it. I love that thing, man. So cool. Okay, with a uh, Han Solo in carbonite, which is like you, you can't ever. How big is the Han Solo with that thing? Uh, he just about fits into the like into the cargo yonder. Is, back. is it just the normal one from the regular Lego sets, or? Uh, it's like an upscaled, or not upscaled, but like more mm -hmm. detailed thing, and it's got like. Does it have the attachment for the back where you can put them inside it? Yeah, exactly. It's okay, an yeah. old. We can see that, that, like, that one is true mini big scale. So yeah, that's why they're they're that size. That, that's like, also what I like about it too. That it's actually true mini big scale. You know? Right. Um, but yeah, the Y wing is absolutely 
in my opinion, the best UCS set. Um, the most disappointing one was the, uh, the, uh, oh crap, what was the snow? And not the snow. Hoth. Trace back. Hoth. Yeah, the Hoth set. The Hoth UCS is basically just an entire season of Lego Star Wars sets in one box. Like it's like 16 different little tiny builds. That's just a cool I don't get the hate, man. I love that set. It looks so freaking cool. But no, it's cool. then again, yeah, no, they wanted something more to play value, you know? You guys, a lot of people disliked it. Jang and everybody, they disliked oh, that set. But yeah. I can understand if you wanted an Ultimate Collector Series set, what you want is like what you have there on the on the back, you know? Uh, something that you can have really on display. And while that one would involve a lot more space, all the figs you got to set up and they're going to be falling over so you got to have base form look i get that but in my personal opinion as far as ultimate collector series go hell that 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 star remake was a joke you know what i'm saying like it was literally a copy and paste and oh the, um, that's the one that i passed on like i was like i don't need this like the big i'll never get anything like that you know uh that's just not i i mean if i had a kid i'd get it for him that's total play value but not for me. Um, did you but, get the uh, Falcon? I'm sorry. Did you get the? You never bought the big Falcon, did you? No. I, the problem with the Falcon is like, okay, so you see the mini fit, like the the, the, the the shop here. Yeah. Right. Gone. You can't have that Falcon. Like yeah. there's that bad thing. There, like, <laughs> did you guys? Did any of you see it? Like in the uh, in no. the like. Store? Yeah, it, it it was massive. It's like what, what? That's what I told the guy last summer. What are you supposed to do with it? It'd be a fun build for a month, but where where are you gonna yeah. put it? Right, right. Like literally, I did. I, I I wanted it, and I like did some math and some savings, you know, budgeting math. And I was like, all right, I could. I could do this. I wasn't trying to get it immediately. I was like, whatever. I don't care about freaking like first one to have it. I'll wait until the, the demand dies down. Yeah. And I figured out like, okay, yeah, I can probably do this. Like three paycheck month is coming up next, you know, a couple of months. Like so I get, I get paid every two weeks. So twice a year you get three Fridays in the yeah. same month. Like, um, and then I saw it in the store. And then I was like, wait, this is, I have a very large, like, uh, living room coffee table. It's this giant full wood square thing, weighs 200 pounds. And the display for, in the Lego store for the Millennium Falcon was bigger than my coffee table in my living room, which is larger than this table here. I was like, there's, I can't, I, I have no, there's no possibility. that I, I don't think some people even thought about it. They're like, I just have to have it. And those are building on their dining room table. It's like, well, I guess we're eating dinner around it. Right. Yeah, exactly. It's just like, I, you know, and I have a unique kind of unique living situation where I have a large house and a lot of space to display a lot of Legos. Um, and that was too much for me. Like, I was like, I can't do this. I could either like quit MOCing, just destroying my whole garage situation or, uh, or not spend $800 on a, UCS Millennium Falcon. That's like that's just yeah. You see, Lego really knows their their uh what they're doing there. Okay, look at what you got here. For some reason, everybody thinks Star Wars brand itself can do no wrong. That's why everybody puts the movies so high on a pedestal. And when right. they come out and they have the slightest digression with them, they lose their minds. And then what do you have? It boycotts against Solo and ridiculous stuff like that. Well, Lego knows for a fact that Star Wars fans, they're gonna buy stuff no matter what. And the, you come out with something that's bigger and better than they've ever done, with the most iconic ship in the entire series, they're gonna jump on it, you know? They really are. And that's only really true fans in all honesty. Like, And I honestly, I wanna see people's opinion in say five years on the set, you know? People that have had it, been yeah. sitting around, people who had it and took it apart and now it's in bags, you know? Well, I wanna know their opinion about it after that. I can tell you this, maybe not exactly from that angle, but from a similar angle. 
as y'all have can probably see in the Lego room, most of my display is Star Wars collections. I've got I've got the, the Endor uh, UCS set. I've got the the um all of, basically all of the UCSs except for the X Wing. I quit collecting Star Wars like three years ago, except for new and interesting UCS models, because I have an X-Wing, I have a Y-Wing, I have an A-Wing, I have a B-Wing, I have a Millennium Falcon, you know, minifig Millennium Falcon, I have all of the Clone Wars crap, and they're just recycling the sets, uh, and they are new builds. Of course, right? So it's fine for them to be, you know, upgrading them and selling them and stuff, but I can't collect them anymore. Because, like, what am I going to have, like, 16 of Luke's <laughs> different yeah. versions of it? Like, I don't need that. Like, yeah. at, at, you know, if you get to the point, like, right now, basically, like, what Dime was saying, I buy sets for parts, except for, uh, like, I got the get all the the creator series cars right like i got the 007 austin martin yeah uh, and all those but other than that just the ucs sets and everything else is just for parts now because how many x-wings yeah it's yeah. i have three I like i have three mini fig series snow speeders and it's like i don't need any more i don't need it I get what you're saying. Straight up. This was the last set I bought. And it's probably going to be the last set, like, big set for a while. No, see, but that's great, 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 great set, I got to say. Love the figs. Love all the parts that it came with. But doing that, like, like I said, I only buy sets for parts. I um, built this. And that's awesome. You guys right. see my Instagram, you know that this is my custom Hogwarts Express. Oh, that's a little cool. Ugh. Okay, there we go. That's it's fantastic. Big. That that's is big. Absolutely fantastic. Majority of the parts came from that set, you know, and it was 80 bucks. And um, it came with six train wheels, okay? How I justify buying stuff is about is all about part prices on BrickLink. However, I never buy on Bricklink. Those train wheels in black range from anywhere at the lowest of $9, about $15 a piece, just one. Wow. And then the ones without the flange on them, those are a little bit cheaper, but still extremely expensive and not one store has more than two or one of them at a time. And it's kind of crazy. And I thought I had to go over to just get six of them for a train model. Well, this set comes with six of them. The set is $80, so I get six of those wheels that are on BrickLink priced at about $10 a piece. So $60 is already paid for right there with the just wheels. And then I get all these exclusive parts, exclusive minifigures and prints like this Hogwarts Express, or I'm sorry, it says Hogwarts Castle print. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah. That thing is just, it's so clean and it's perfect, and it's on the new curb um, smooth tile piece, which is really cool that just sets off the side of the of the engine and how i justify buying stuff is basically like if if i can get my money's worth out of it like times 10 then i'll get it otherwise i don't even bother with it straight up i don't bother with it at all but <laughs> that, that the new star wars sets i just i don't know however the new um solo speeders the new blue one and that that gray one, great part sets. Just haven't picked them up yet because I haven't found them on sale yet or even in the Walmart yet for that matter. So as soon as I find those, I'm buying them because those come with tons of those curved noodle uh, type pieces yeah. and as well as the- um, And Van Deer, how did uh, you know, these fans go to USC Star Wars? Pieces, so. You guys are kind of getting a glimpse of inside of our chat. Oh yeah, no. how did we get from uh, our announcing the? Because we all have ADD, and Swoboda has this beautiful oh. collection behind his head. We couldn't not talk about the elephant in the room. It's like it's so pretty. I want to know what they are, and I had to call Swoboda out on not fixing the snowsbeater since January. 
Yeah, well, because it's it's cleverly hidden from the from the field of. of oh, I see pieces. <laughs> well, but I know what to look for. Because is bad, but it's more. I was trying. I was trying to hide it. I was trying to hide it, and you you yeah. you, you me on it. So I had to justify the broken one with all of the cool ones that I didn't break or have broken and rebuilt. Yeah, that's how we got on this track. All right, trying to save so. face. Anyway, yeah. anyway, um into all this insanity <laughs> real quick guys i'm going to uh head out oh all right buddy yeah uh it's been great chatting you know yeah. we love what everybody comes up with yeah. nice to see you bb all right take it easy see you man yeah. have a good night sorry i have a little bit of a, a time advantage here being in california so it is like 8 p.m. for it's me. 11 on the East Coast right now. At least where I'm at on the East Coast. I do understand if we have to kind of call it shortly. I could rant. If you guys want to get me on another subject, I could continue rant. Hmm. No, but it, I think it's good that we get to talk about you guys were talking about what we do for parting out things because and, and it's funny because I have only you two left here now because Golden and I buy a lot from BrickLink. I think Fitz does too, but you guys have never bought from Bricklink. Either one of you. That's nope. not entirely true. Never bought from Bricklink. Wait. A large, uh, when I was doing the, the uh, when I was developing the the gassers. Yes. I did do a reasonably large series of orders to acquire like the chassis parts. Okay, so you have done X. Uh, I failed pretty hard as far as being smart at using BrickLink. Uh, oh, it's bad. It's real bad. Um, so I'm not going to defend my practices, and you should never take my advice as far as it goes. But that being said, other than that instance, because, I mean, come on. Look at how sweet, like, the... You you get the front, instructions on that till front end. Right? Like... So you gotta forgive me for having these technic parts, and they're rare. So I you know, you know, go full, yeah, on Bricklink. Um, I get I get the point of Bricklink. I just haven't brought myself to do it purely because of there's a lot of reasons behind it. But I just I don't know. I, I feel that the amount of money that I say I spent ten dollars on um, Bricklink for two parts, you know, ten dollars. Like it say say the parts are cheap. But I gotta pay the shipping and everything. But a total of ten dollars comes out of my wallet. However, I go to Walmart and I spend ten dollars on a ten dollars set, and I get all these parts. Yeah, I, that, that's I, like, I can't see any other way. You know? That's like, I got this forty dollars set for twenty one bucks. I'm I couldn't Dude, say I know if I find that for twenty one, I am getting it. I oh, love that. <laughs> my even my wife said she's like. You're kind of hitting on an interesting angle that I hesitate to kind of bring up because I have pretty strong feelings about it that are probably not popular. Um, but I've seen... I love Lego for the point of Lego. And you go to the store and you got a kid or you don't got a kid or you are a kid. Um, mm -hmm. Oh my god, I need that set. You buy it, right? You know, yeah. you, um. I have, I, I kind of have like this moralistic issue with uh, uh, bricklink stores that will go and troll like Target, reach all the sets and all the new stuff so they can have like in their store the newest parts and like, you know, the sticker sets for these super rare sets. And I have to mitigate my understanding of the way that the business model works with think somebody think of the children. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Like, so, cause a lot of guys that do that have are great and mock, mock, I'll call them mockers, right? Instead of MOC there's right. Great mockers. But you know, you're just like, oh, look at I have this giant like palette of this new rare hair piece that's only in like the new, uh, you know, minifig uh, uh, bags or whatever. I bought them all out for the city of Ohio from every single Target. Yeah, I do have issue with that. Where I get what you're saying. Every store. I get what you're saying. I think that's 
Honestly, I think that's about 90% of people of a followers and mockers problem with Frank Bricklink. And that is the 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 elder um com, the, I want to say elder I want what I mean by like the OGs of the Instagram and YouTube and Lego community, the people that have been doing it for the past 10 years, they got so comfortable with just buying everything up and then selling it that they're not they don't really get that people nowadays we're a little more like togetherness and 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 calm, if you will. Like for example, uh, I mean, it just goes to show this is how the world is in this day and age. People are a little more acceptable and a little, a little more walking on eggshells, if you will, or a little more like easy of what they say and do to people these days. You know what I'm saying? So that being said, day and age of 2018, people going and buying up all the products of uh, at the stores just so they can fund their own hobby or their bills is very annoying and very like frustrating and difficult because tell me about it. I'm I see all the time sale, right? And then I go and it's completely empty. And all I can think in my head is like, damn, some a fall who doesn't want to get a real job or doesn't want to pay for his own hobby, just bought it all up just so he can do the store and whatnot and charge it up for everybody, you know? And, that's why I just I can't support there, Bricklink. I just don't support there, Bricklink. There are some Bricklinkers. There are some. Yeah, I was gonna get on that. There are some. Yeah, you yeah. know, but that's why. Sad enough, there are some who ruin it for everybody. You know, no, no, no. there. It's just like anything. There's gonna be jerks out there that ruin it for everybody. Yeah, that's why like, I try to shop Big B because I know he is doing it to support his family. Yeah, the great guy in the Lego community. Well, Andy's cool. Andy's cool. Yeah. Uh, is genuine and shares his love of stuff and doesn't tend to gouge because that's the thing like the gouging and like like it's like oh i just bought all of the new uh magic kingdom you print you know cinderella's castle sets i you know oh uh, i'm charging 16 bucks for the mickey mini figure or whatnot and like that's and it's funny because i've even looked at big b's prices his prices are even better than most of the stores out there and everything he yeah. does for the lego community and i'm like you know what right. for me yeah. it's easier yeah. for me to go on bricklink like because me with three kids money so to do mocks it's like okay i've got to spend my money wisely yeah, I could buy ten different, save up and buy ten different sets, or I could spend fifteen, twenty bucks on Bricklink, get everything I need, and it's done. I mean, I've considered opening up a, a small Bricklink store, and I'm probably not going to do it, but just because I do have a, I have a lot, I have a lot, I have a lot of Legos, um, a lot, and I have <laughs> probably surplus of, of of bricks that I will not ever really need. Yeah. Not to say that I want to sell them to get to to make any sort of profit, but more so if I don't need them and I'm not going to use them. Like, like, look at I have so many like random for you know the, the random filler bricks they use on builds. Uh, yeah. Like somebody use them, sell them for like two cents, whatever the whatever the reasonable rate is, and get them out of my hair because somebody else is going to use them better than me. Yeah, right. Yeah, and like then, I've got this the um, place, speed place train. Yellow ones with um, green ones that I want, right? You know what I'm saying? Like, but yeah. that's really the only reason I would even consider it, but I don't care enough to do to, to even. Well, my wife asked me, she's like, would you ever do a Brickling store? I'm like, no, two reasons. One, I don't have the patience to do it because I've watched mm -hmm. this dollar stream and Big B. He, that's the thing. I also like, he does it and he also has a show that he helps other people. Hey, if you're wanting to do this, this isn't easy, but. I'll yeah. give you all my things I do, but I'll show you different ways to do this. I've watched well, like, no. Lars can't be bothered to like do the packaging aspect exactly. of it. Exactly. Right? Like, the organization, the packaging, and I'm like, but these are my Lego, and I might not need it today, but eventually I'm going to build a city, and I might need that for a down the road. Right. Yeah. So, so my kids might need it. It's for the kids, honey. I guess I don't begrudge people that I don't begrudge Bricklink as a, as a as a, like a community, and I don't begrudge people that are sellers on Bricklink, but I begrudge predatory sellers. On yep. That I, I agree. When they when they swoop everything and it's like I get it, this is your business. You got it. You're trying to make money, but 
But like, why is this your business? Like, get a better, more moralistic business. Oh, oh wow, I'm sorry, I didn't get to, I didn't mean to get this. Um, what I was gonna say though is, yeah. I happen to live in an area that I have like a Lego store in the mall, like 10, 15 minutes from my house that has like fantastic stuff, and they like kind of know me at this point, which is like eh, debatably embarrassing. Um. But I also have a Target and like right next to my house. So I try to only go to the Lego store so I can get, you know, point VIP points. Yeah. But I don't I don't feel the crunch of these predatory bricklayers as much as I've seen other people. So I'm a little bit spoiled as far as not being like firsthand affected by it. Yeah. Uh, I, I think there's a lot in my area, I feel, because I don't a lot of the sets that people are like, these are on sale. I'm like, they were, they're gone. Like, I was surprised to find the Joker low rider. I was super surprised. How you know, there's a gray medium you know with it all, I what? think. So, uh, like, for instance, when I was trying to find this thing, the, the train, I called ahead to about four different targets, Lego stores as well. Nobody had them except for the last one that I called. And they had it. They had one left, and it was in the back. Whenever I went there earlier to just I, my first hand thing is I just went to Target because I knew they were there. Yeah. And nothing was on the shelf. Not the slightest Harry Potter set was on the shelf. They didn't even put it out yet. But I leave and I'm calling around and so it happens to be the one that I went to that they didn't have it. It's in the back and it was only one left. So I went and got it and you know, and the only thing that was popped up in my head, I was like, Man, I, I feel like I'm taking now from somebody who probably could have gotten it because you know, it was the last one. So who's, who knows when's the last shipment that they're going to get more of those sets and whenever they haven't even put them on shelf yet. You know, it's not even released it yet. So doing stuff like that, you know, I, I, I feel slightly bad for because it's like I can't be a hypocrite, you know. But at the same time, I do support. You're not saying, hey, I'm going to go clear the shelves. I, I do have issues with yeah. that. We're like, we're going to clear the shelf. There's a difference. There's a difference between what you did, Dime. Right, and when I I actually went for the uh, for the uh, oh god the, this this thing this thing whatever the fuck this thing is oh the sand crawler the sand, sand crawler Mario sand crawler thank you so I actually went <laughs> to the Lego store on day one right it was like. It, some random morning, right? Like some Saturday, I forget. But I stood in line early. Like got got there at like nine thirty, and like the store opened at at eleven. And the employees came out and were like giving out cards and stuff, and they were asking like you could buy up to four. Oh wow! And I was like the third person, so I was like guaranteed to get one and whatever. I had my Starbucks coffee and my freaking headphones and my iPhone to watch whatever the hell, you know, it doesn't matter. Yeah. Um, and there were like the two people in front of me and some other people in the line were like, oh, we want four. We want four. And they were not even pretending that they weren't You're just flipping them on eBay immediately for for profit and i got so angry i just had to just clench my butthole and just watch star trek on my iphone for an hour and a half and like get my sand crawler and not just explode at the rampant like just be like guys lego store guys they don't even want the legos they're not doing this this is just a fucking ebay scam like i'm sorry for swearing that was I'm sorry. No, I get what you're saying, man. It's it's a little frustrating, but you know what? Like, like Rick Rod said, you know, there's there's bad seeds and there's good seeds. Like Lego Snoop, I follow him on Instagram. He's got a um, yeah, he's another guy. Has a Bricklink store, and if I ever bought anything, you know, he's going to be one of the first ones I would go to, and as well as the ones that you mentioned. There's good people, you know, but you know. Anyways, I got a question for you guys. Um, I, I'm curious to know, as the judges, um, what the other person's favorite car is. Like, what is my favorite brick rod garage uh, mock, and what is my favorite Sobody uh, mock? And I want to know what y'all's 
mock of each other, fair mock of each other is. If that makes any sense. Well, I part, uh, I'll go first. My favorite mock of so bodies is the uh, one he sent me, the rusted rat truck. <laughs> that thing is just still too cool to this day. I love that thing. And um, my all-time favorite uh, uh, build of a uh, brick rod is that um, the uh, dragster that you made for the drag competition. That thing was that was thing was just so cool. It stretched out. I love those kind of dragsters. Yeah, that's my favorite series. I don't. I'm not familiar with the name of it. I know there's different lines, you know, like yeah. nitro or whatnot. But uh, but that one was definitely my favorite kind of dragster and my favorite mock of yours. So done for you. I would say it's that new uh, uh, like rally. What is that? A charger with the wheels in the back or whatever, like sort of Mad Max style, the white one. Yeah, this guy. Yes, yes. yes. That one exactly right there. Absolutely. Um, just for obvious reasons that I don't need to really go into because it's the it, it, <laughs> I look at it. Um, Rick Rod, it's got to be the double. Uh, oh, what was this guy? What, what What's the part? What's the part number? The uh, three zero four one nine. Uh, Mayhem, the double one I did. The, yes, the double, yeah. the double, like two one of those. Uh, like truck rod was freaking. Yeah, absolutely. Like, yeah. Hands down. Uh, yeah. Awesome. You got yeah. Let's see. Dime mine was this one. Let's see if you can see it. The your hauler, oh, you the, the, red, yeah. the the red hauler, the yeah. hauler, that was one of the favorite ones you did. And so, what it's it's the lead sled. <laughs> uh, wait, is it? I think I still have it. Is it this yonder? That one. Yes, yes. that one. Oh yes, yeah. this one is still one of my favorites. Like speed champion lead sled in like very muted. Yeah, yeah dark gray with like the man chip. i've been really wanting to do like a fleet liner or like an old bel air stretched out something lately man so you know, might have just i have a i have a different version of the lead sled i that i i don't know if i've posted but it's like based on you know jerry builds bricks oh of course so check this guy nice so yeah, based, yeah, yeah. like if you compare it to the lead sled, you can see it's it's very much like slammed on the ground comparatively speaking. But yeah. I really am digging like this six wide scaling. That is clean. I really like that. With it. And I have I did a version of the uh Octon Gasser. Same same model. But just like with yeah, a, the that thing's nice. I love how it's got the uh the, the green fender on one side. Oh yeah, I that's my that. that's like my favorite detail on it that I yeah. couldn't put into the actual gasser, but it looks so sweet. In my yeah, like, I really like that. that. And, you know, I love odd shaped or odd painted fenders. That is like my uh my Nova on my Forza Horizon game. It's flat black the whole thing. However, it's got a flat red front left fender on it and it, it, it no real purpose it's just it's, it looks like it's, you know a barn finder or something that i threw together that i didn't throw the final paint job on that's right it. yeah and i love that final look in fact that's hey Brooke what I've, I've been wanting to do that too i've been wanting to you know build a muscle car but I have just the one fender up in the front left or something colored you know separately colored so maybe the next one, maybe the next one, because I plan on doing a uh, Pontiac GTO. Pontiac GTO is in the works. Um, a uh, uh, 66 Nova um, Speed uh, Pro Street, that's in the works, and a um, a few others. So, yeah. Nice. I still got mocks coming out. I'm not done with them. <laughs> no, you're not done. Hey, Brick Customs is in the chat. Our other judge, he wasn't able to join us tonight, but it's good to have you in the chat, man. So, awesome. all right. So let's finalize this stuff because it is getting late on my end here. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, it's only like what eight fifteen here, but I understand y'all's are getting tired, so we should probably close it up. Maybe. Yeah. Let's see. All right. So, 
hashtag we're going to use is BRG Caravan, and the rules are, and I will make a separate video and an announcement on Instagram so we can make sure the rules aren't confusing. It either has to be a in-bed truck, camper, has to be removable with jack stands, and it has to be towing something, because that's the purpose of you putting it in the bed. That's the reason why you do that, or a pull-behind camper. And let's see, the competition will go now, which is the 4th, until we'll say the 31st, so the end of the month, right before are, Labor Day. Uh, are we going to do maybe a, a midpoint live stream video update? We We're do doing that. some different uh, yeah. trees and maybe some of uh, the progression of our own yeah. builds. We could do that. Technically. Entry, you know, and they're not entered as the judges, but you know, just yeah. for fun for building. Absolutely, give people some more inspiration. I like that idea. And then I could probably get the bits back in here because I'll we'll do some test streams before. I'll be verified by tomorrow at this time. I we failed with the YouTube streaming because I was not verified and I had to wait twenty four hours. <sighs> so that's my bad. But all right, so awesome. y'all, I thank you for for joining. This is fantastic. I've had more fun tonight than I had the rest of the day earlier and last night combined. <laughs> well, I, I had a lot of fun. I like doing them. So we're probably going to do these when we do a new competition every time. Then I like your idea, Jack, doing a midway and say, hey, these are some of the things that we've liked. Hey, we'd still like to see something like this out there. Yeah, we, they don't have to be two hours. They could be, cool, you know, minutes, about an hour. they could be as far yeah. as they want to riff, you know? Yeah. You know what? I have to say this before we close. I really appreciate being on a video conference call that is not to do with work. <laughs> <laughs> because normally I'm just getting grilled by people and being like, well, look at my spreadsheets and I got to show you all. Look at this. So just working <laughs> about Legos on a video, it's, it's a very foreign concept with me and i'd like to do it more often well, we, we'll, we'll definitely yeah. do it more often and we're probably going to invite some guests in there the first stream i wanted it to be just us just me the host and you guys the judges i think next time we might invite a couple more people in and say hey these are people that we, we all of us agree that we respect as builders and we'd like to share them with everybody absolutely it's about, yeah. it's about yeah. sharing everybody else's builds and getting people out there that might not get out there Kind of like we had Golden on. It was his first time streaming today ever, which is awesome. My second time. Yeah. yeah. That was the first time he's seen his face, and I've been friends with the guy for two years now. So this is awesome. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that it was good to have him on. I was happy to have him on. So next yeah. time we will work, we will test it to make sure Fitz can get in, and we'll go from there. Awesome. All right. You All right, guys. We'll talk to you all later. Have a good night, everyone. Peace, everyone. Madness and rambling and unveiling. Yeah. Thanks, guys. Bye. Take care. Build campers. Build campers. <laughs>